The constitution makes me the governor of Edo State, and I know the powers of the governor. The constitution does not provide for a co-governor. Does it? No. Provides for a deputy governor who does what the gives carries out the responsibility the governor gives to him. Does not give him the power of the governor. Before now, he had been going around saying he is consulting. Because after the local, the national assembly elections, we met. We had a small meeting, and I said, "Look." I know the next major election will be the gubernatorial election. How to choose the person who will succeed me. But it is too early. The things we do now, how we finish well, we determine how strong we are to sell the person who will take over. But more importantly, we must solidify our party because PDP must, by the grace of God, produce the next governor. So, so the work we must be doing now is how to consolidate the party, how to reconcile the party, how, how to make the party one again. That is why I took specific interest in the local government election, so that we can sol con consolidate and unify our party. So when all these issues were coming out in the, for the uh, local government uh, nominations, everywhere I went, there were already camps. Oh, this is for deputy, this is for... I, I said, but I have not finished my term. Won't you allow me to finish? I said, mm -mm, stop Bluetooth this. Disconnected. Till tomorrow, the deputy has never come to meet me one-on-one -on -one to say, Oga, oh you know what? I'm thinking of running over. I want to see how I can succeed you when you finish. Meanwhile, he said he is consulting. I sat down, I kept quiet. So, well, if you think I am somebody you will come and imp tell me, impose your idea on when you are finished consulting, I will be watching. I didn't say anything. He's going around doing all sorts. But let me go back to the main issue. What really happened and created this problem. I proclaimed the House of Assembly. He was in Abuja. Before he left, I called the chairman. The chairman is here. I said, look, I want to nominate, I want nominations for commissioners. What we normally do, we will sit down, about five of us, looking at the list, local government and local government, what have been submitted. Ask the, the chairman. That morning, I called him for the meeting. What did he say? He said he will not attend. That is why Isako does not have commissioner. He said he will not attend. I said, okay. Well, let us go ahead. I will still give him that respect for us to consider when he's ready. He then went to Abuja. He went and be boasting. He says he has connections in Abuja. He has people he has been in the National Assembly with. They are all with the president now. That they, all, they will take care of him. If he cannot get the ticket of PDP, he knows what to do. Keep quiet. So I thought we were together. But what struck me and I have never said this to anybody, is that after I proclaim the House of Assembly, we are now going to elect officers to the House of Assembly. He was in Abuja. He came back that day. I am the chief security officer of the state. I get any information I need. But I have that responsibility to keep quiet and use the information properly. My deputy called a leader, a leader in APC, telling that leader that during the elections the next day of the 
leadership, speaker, particular speaker of the House of Assembly, that he has five members who are loyal to him, and that he would like the seven members of APC to work with the five members of PDP to produce a speaker. This information will still be corroborated by somebody else. At that point, I called the PDP members to my house just to familiarize with them. And as usual, he tried to barge in. I said, well, you cannot just come to my house. It's my private house. It's not even government house. You have to have the courtesy. But now it is my prerogative whether I want you to come in or not. After I heard what he had done, I said, you can't come into our meeting. We met, agreed. The next day, we went to the House of Assembly. He went there, and we did what we did. As far as I'm concerned, that was not working in our common interest. Why would the, gov the deputy governor seek to have another candidate, another speakership candidate, outside of what the governor wants? Are we working together? That is where I now knew that we had a problem. To say the deputy governor had become so desperate to take over that he would do anything, including on that taking, carrying out a coup against his governor. How can you say you are loyal and you don't do that sort of a thing? The rest, you, you observed. He was going around, he would go to places, just as if we are not the same government again. When you ask him to, about something, oh, he will agree, the next day we'll be doing something else. His Excellency Michael Gadome called for a meeting. He called Senator Ali Mikena to, for, to, for that meeting in his house. I went for the meeting. Deputy said, oh, no, eh, sorry. He was just consulting. Denied. Oh, nothing will happen again. He will just keep quiet until it is time. I said, the timetable for the election is not even out. Let us, why not wait? There's a lot of work for us to do. Let us not be distracted. But for him, no. He continued. I didn't say a word. And I haven't said a word to him. The next thing I knew, oh, yes, he went to court. He said he's going on holiday. I approved as usual for him to go on his annual holidays. And he traveled. He didn't tell me he's traveling. And the next thing I knew is that they are serving us summons that he has gone to court that there's a plan to impeach him. I say, impeach you? What have you done? There's no, if you want to run for the office of governor, there's nothing wrong. I mean, it's your constitutional right to run for the office if you want to. However, you are in the same cabinet with me. Please, there is a way you do something. Even if you are trying to show respect to the people, if people see you now, even before the time, going around, what do you expect all the other candidates and all the other people who have an interest to do? Their natural feeling is that, oh, the governor has already, governor don't say. Meanwhile, governor never say. <laughs> huh? So I cannot support such unfairness. Let us have the timetable. Let us sit down with our leaders. Let us agree how we want to do this thing. Are we going to be doing to me to you or we want to allow other people to participate? Let us agree. He says we want to impeach him. I called the speaker. Speaker, what am I hearing? Is there anything? Some of you came to Benin that Sunday. For one meeting. You remember? Yes. That was when the speaker told me that he phoned 
that they said they want to. I said, but what did you tell him? He said, he didn't. He told me that there's nothing of the sort. I called, I asked, checked the various, I said, what is going on? Who wants to impeach Alpha? Why? Before you, you know what? I got caught summons that uh, I wish you would, you know, saying that he wants to get an order preventing or stopping us from impeaching him. So, well, since there's no such plan, it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't bother me. What is, was kind of disturbing was the excuses he gave in his petition. This is a matter before the court. I don't want to talk much about it. How can somebody swear to an affidavit, right? A public officer with information that is patently wrong and false that we stopped him from coming into ESCO. Meanwhile, you attended the ESCO and you signed. I am not angry. I'm just disappointed.